Hello everybody, this is TechStack here, and welcome back. This is episode 5 of my server Let's Play on the TS Craft server. Um, as you can see, we've made some changes here to the uh, Blaze Spawner. Um, one of the guys was asking if we could turn it into a XP farm. Um, I thought that was a wonderful idea. Um, hadn't really uh, worked with the brains at all. Um, they went ahead and did all the research. Uh, that was Caesar. He went ahead and did all the research to uh, get to the level where he could do a brain in a jar. Um, and then I supplied the turtles there so that we could uh, kill them. And they would drop XP instead of just the water kill that uh, normally happens in here. If I turn this thing off, they should stop uh, spawning here. Get that guy to stop tracking me here. Um, as soon as they stop spawning here, I'll show you uh, what kind of uh, XP we can get out of this thing. Um, as you can see, the XP appears to be pulling up there, but I think that's just because the brain might be full. Um, so far, with the setup that I've done here, the yeah, brain has collected everything. Originally, I think the guys thought I wanted uh, um, the brain to be up on that top cobblestone block, but I didn't. Um, the reason being that I still want this thing to be able to work as a functioning... Uh, um, blaze rod uh, collection and I had the transposer blocked off and that was simply so I could uh, originally place the turtles and place them and not get killed myself um, so Cesar if you're watching this and you're the one that put the brain in there uh, I didn't want it up there I wanted it down on the floor somewhere it would actually collect the XP um, if it's up high I've noticed it doesn't really collect it that well um, so anyway I've created a, a little temporary you know, cobblestone platform so we can get down to this thing and let's just go ahead and get the XP flowing to us. I put a trap door up there because the XP doesn't seem to uh, find its path very easy. So just having the trap door aids it along. And I'm going to bring this up so it's not quite so flashy for everybody that's watching my video. Um, I'll probably make a cut here until uh, this thing's done because this might take a minute. Okay guys, um, as you can see, um, I made it to 66 levels. Um, that's pretty ins insane considering that uh, uh, the XP levels are at exponential growth. You know, you need more orbs to obtain a higher level. Um, let's go ahead and turn it back up my Minecraft sounds now that uh, oh, we've got all the gas out of the way. Uh, and actually, let's uh, kick this lever. Uh, this is kind of like an emergency override lever um, because it is controlled by the um, the gate on that uh, chest up above. You know, there's no real easy way for you to say, I want to turn it off without having a lever down here. So I just put an emergency override for now. Um, although I did open, I did a safety test. I opened the trap, trap door with it on. And I stood there with my uh, sword ready to go, um, and uh, none of them got through. So it's a pretty safe bet that you know you can stand there for at least a little bit with the door open and Blaze coming in that you're not going to instantly die or anything like that from them. Um, but yeah, and, and you know if you were to die, all you do is jump up or get hit uh, lit on fire by them. All you do is jump up and you'd be good to go. So let's go over here and see if we can get some good enchants. Uh, I'm going to do a cut here um, just because this might take a while for me to get something good. So I'll be back. Okay guys, um, did about three enchants there. Uh, did, did two level 30s and a level 6. And the reason I did that is I wanted to get down to level uh, or to no experience levels at all. Um, let's go ahead and kick this guy off. It had been running the whole time I was down there. It only took me maybe a minute or two to do it. And look at all that XP that's building up down there. I think it's overflowed again already. Let's just open the door without... Yeah, look at all that. So it can't even collect all the XP, it doesn't appear. Let's let this finish off. I'm gonna get to level 30 before I even hit the jar. Wow. Oop. Yeah, and you definitely don't want to get in here. <laughs> if you do, stay away from the turtles at all costs. They do not care what it is they're trying to hit they will just slaughter you. <laughs> if you have no armor on, you might as well consider yourself dead. Okay, so it does hold XP. It's collecting it. Let's just see how high I can get. Um, let's see, there's still some stuck up there. That's cool, it sucked it back up. 
So any XP that gets stuck up there, the jar will collect again. And you can knock back out. That's that's good. Okay, let's do this. Okay, that appears to be it. So level 40, uh, not a bad deal. Um, you know, obviously I wasted some of that XP by going all the way to 40. If I would have stopped at 30, that would have been the optimal uh, situation. But that's okay. Just testing out. Uh, in fact, let's kick this thing off one more time. Let it run. Let it fill up the blaze box up there. And uh, and the uh, jar down there, I guess. So it looks like we might have a need to add some additional jars. Um, I'm not quite sure how hard those things were for him to make, but uh, for now it's definitely working. I mean, you can get level 30 real easy with this, just within a few minutes, if that. Treasure 2, that's a new one to me. Um, not quite sure what that one does. Uh, that must be one of the ones from the mods. Um, I know that uh, Mojang had been adding additional enchants uh, Let's go back and get some more. Uh, additional enchants to this, the game itself. I don't think that was one of them. I think one of the, the newer ones they added was Thorns. And that's one where you can put that enchant on your armor. And it will allow you to... Uh, every time you take damage, it in turn damages uh, the enemy that, that hit you. So it's kind of like... Uh, imagine if you're... you're your um, armor had a thorns actually sticking out of it, you know, if they touched you it would hurt them, kind of deal. Um, for some reason when they did that though, they made it so that the armor breaks faster, I guess? Which to me just means I don't ever want that enchantment, because I'd rather have the armor last than damage a mob. I mean, if I'm going to damage a mob, I'll do it with my sword. So, but anyway. Oh. Knock back two. No good to me. That's just creeper. That's all it's useful for. <laughs> That's all I ever use that enchant for. Um, anyway, I'm not going to make you all watch uh, me enchant a bunch of books here. Um, I'll do it, the rest of it off camera here. Um. Okay, I've made this trip back and forth uh, four or five times probably now. Uh, each time getting level 30 and then coming back up here. Um, by the time I go back down there, you know, as fast as I can enchant these things and go back down there, I'm already got enough, I already have enough experience down there um, in the uh, uh, the brain and enchanting, or the uh, XP farm itself, that I can get a level 30 uh, within just a second or two of being down there, just as long as it takes to actually uh, uh, collect on my player. So, I'm thinking I need to move my enchanting station down here somewhere. Um, that way we don't have to travel back and forth all the time to, uh, to do that. Uh, if I put it down here, uh, right over there or something maybe, I, I don't know yet. Um, we'll be good to go within a matter of seconds. See they can't get you down here. Unfortunate. Still I'm not out anything if I die. Now that I have an XP farm, I mean as long as I can collect my items we're good. So, I will probably end up uh, moving my enchanting station down there. Um, guys that are on the server, if you haven't figured out, I um, at least right now, I'm pretty delayed in actually getting the videos out onto YouTube, um, just because I've recorded so many in advance. Um, so if you're seeing this, uh, I probably already have the enchanting station down there. So look for it down there if, you ever, if you're looking for my enchant station. And I will move the anvil down there too. Soul Stealer, whoo. Soul Stealer 3, yes, that's that's the whole reason I've been enchanting. Um, I think one of the guys still has the soul, oh wait, maybe not. This might be very good. We might be able to get Soul Stealer 4 or 5 out of this. Because this one already has Soul Stealer 3. Let's see what a 3 and a 3 will cost. Um, as far as... um adding that enchant here. Let's see what it gets to us. Oop, wrong one. Nine levels. It'll give us Soul Stealer 4. That is just awesome. Um, 
I will, within a few minutes here, have a Soul Stealer 4 sword. So, um, that's very, very, very cool. Um, that will make all of our Soul Shards go so much faster. Um, if I can get another Soul Stealer uh, 3 or 4 in book, um, we'll be going at super light speed on these Soul Shards. Then uh, Soul Stealer 5 would just be insane. I think that gives you like 5 or 6 of the um, Souls at a time. Oh wait, let's get a little bit more. Let's see if I can get 9 plus 30, so 39. Um, that way I can do that enchant and then another one. One trip. I think they're just falling out of the place themselves now. Okay, so I've caught up to this one. Yeah. Let that thing run for a bit. At least I have a jetpack to do this and I don't have to jump every time. Okay. <laughs> so steal the three plus that nine cost. Can't believe that's only nine. I mean not that I'm complaining, but that is, to me, that is the best enchant you can get on a sword. Oh, can I put it on? No. Ooh, do I risk making a diamond sword for this? I have the diamonds. What else do I need the diamonds for? I've got my tesseracts. I was going to do a... Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just go for it. Get a diamond one if possible. Worst case scenario is I have a diamond sword, I can put whatever else, whatever other enchants I might want. I know this won't be Soul Stealer 4, but I'm going to save this thing back. Ah, uh, oh, They must have patched that. At one time you could put it on, on other weapons, using books. That stinks. Okay, well. I still get Soul Stealer 4 out of it, so I'm not too disappointed. Um, I'll put this one in here for our dragon fight, I guess. Anyway, um, kind of out of record or time to record for today, so uh, this won't be the end of the episode, but I need to make a break here, and I'll probably see you on a different recording day. Okay, this thing is like a death trap. Um, I tried moving around with all this experience flying around my face, and um, I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I was at level 20, um, went down there to get just a couple levels, and look at that, I got another 23 levels out of it, um, and there's still more XP stored in that stuff down there, so uh, it definitely works fast enough. Okay guys, I'm back here, and it has been oops, lightning. Um, several days uh, since the last time I recorded. There has been a ton of changes take place on the server, and at least in my base area there has been. And also, I've been pranked slash gifted, I guess. Um, uh, as you can see, I heard you like computers, so I made 20 monitors and one computer and hid them. Go nuts. Uh, and the guys uh, left their names there. Uh, hints? What you, uh, keep what you want. So let's take a look at the hints here. Uh, dark side chordate plate furnace. Okay, there's there's definitely one of my furnaces missing. Blaze rod, a block of gold, cobble, and dirt. Oh, and uh, I'll explain this hopefully in this episode if I have time. Uh, basically, I finished my pigment shard. I have so much gold it's not even funny which means I have so much iron it's not even funny which means I have so much diamond it's not even funny or pearl the pigment spawner is crazy if you can get a tier 5 pigment spawner um, you basically are not lacking for gold iron diamonds pearls if you can do that because of uh, equivalent exchange um, so let's start collecting these things see if we can find all 20 of them there's one uh, two three this one over here. Four. And as you can see, I've set up a flax farm over here. Come up here. Yeah. 
five. A little bit of a Easter egg hunt or scavenger hunt here. There's one. Where's he at? Yeah, just leave me alone. <laughs> Six. Can't wait till I get uh, some more arrows and things like that. The dragon fight kind of tapped me out for arrows. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, I kind of recorded uh, the dragon fight well before this video is going to post on YouTube. Um, but in the series here, it's kind of... It's kind of going to make all my episodes out of sequence. You can't really tell, though, because uh, how it was mostly in the end. So we the nine of these things. It's 10. We still haven't found the, the advanced monitor or the advanced display yet. Let's see. There's one. They just went nuts with these things, didn't they? Don't worry, guys. Uh, I don't mind, especially since this is kind of going to turn into a gift for me. Um, but do be on the lookout here. Uh, this means you're open game. Uh, we can do pranks back and forth. Obviously, please don't grief each other. Uh, prank and griefing are two different things. You know, destroying someone's base would be more considered a uh, uh, griefing type activity. Uh, killing someone can be considered it, unless it's done in a way you know where they won't lose any items or anything like that. Um, to be safest though, just try not to kill anybody. I mean, there's no question about it. Um, YouTube, I have more power than I know what to do with, kind of. Um, my machines are running pretty much full-time, as you can see. Looks like one of them I need to fix here. Um, let's get him on to redstone signal enabled. There we go. Come on. Turn on. No lava. Why do you have no lava? Well, I'll fix that later. Anyway, um, it's, you know, those magmatic engines charge all of these redstone energy cells, and the main reason is I have an energy test rack now, and that outputs to my quarry. Um, the other piece of the setup over here, which you can see, this is all new too. Uh, this is an item test rack. It is being fed from my quarry into these relays, which in turn fill all these chests. Over here, I have a cobble and dirt disposal set up. Um, one of the guys suggested obsidian pipes uh, and connected the void pipes and I'm using a relay just to filter out dirt um, and cobble. Wow, my chests are really getting full up here. Okay, so we haven't completely filled. I'm probably getting close to bedrock at this point in my setup. Uh, um, I'm still looking for these monitors. Uh, the other part of the setup here is, you know, this pneumatic tube connects to this relay, or, um, retriever, sorry, and it pulls all the ores out and deposits them into one of the powered, or the uh, pulverizers. Pulverizers output onto each side. On each side I have a powered furnace. The powered furnaces just, you know, cook up the dust and send it down this uh, iron pipe, you know, feeds everything in this direction. Connects into the relay, that way I can go back into pneumatic tubes, because I prefer pneumatic, pneumatic tubes, and I see another monitor. <laughs> and they uh, just deposit all the uh, ingots uh, up there in those chests. Um, well, let's grab that monitor. Chest is getting full, good. Plenty of uh, resources coming in. Uh, because of this, lots of iron. I no longer have an iron problem like I did before. In fact, if one of the guys on the server was building a community uh, liquids room, and I cooked up like eight stacks of iron, in, or I didn't cook it, I uh, rolled it into steel plate for him so he can <laughs> do the tanks. Um, over here, um, I'll show you in a couple minutes the rest of the, the, the changes, but uh, this setup's part of the pigment spawner uh, deal. Um, like I said, unlimited gold, gold for days, whatever, more than I will ever need. I've only found 15 of these monitors. Maybe they've placed them down in the uh, blaze spawner. You can see that's the pigment spawner setup. It works kind of similar to the uh, blaze setup, 
with the from the standpoint that you know it automatically shuts off when one of the chests up there gets full. Um, I'll go into more detail as I explain that. Um, it, it does some auto crafting of the the swords and stuff like that that they drop. So anyway, let's let's go and keep going down here so we can find the rest of these monitors. And I've moved my enchanting station down here. I like, like I said it er, in the, uh, earlier in this video, um, it got a quick, quick, quick pain in the butt running back and forth all the way up down there. So just moved the you know, enchanting station, uh, books, supplies so that you can enchant books. You know, we've got quite a few enchants. You know, everybody's been coming down here when they uh, want something and just stores extra books down here for people to share. And then we've got a repair handle down here. Um, this is the pigment spawner. Got another brain. Um, yeah, I don't see any more of the monitors down here. I, thought, you know, I played a little bit, kind of trying to ignore the monitors. Um, obviously, I did because I have not found them all yet. Hmm. This might take me some time to try and find all these. None of this was there when they did it, I don't think. So they wouldn't be over here. Nothing back there. Well, if they if they went further back in my base here, I normally don't go in here. Well, the kind of chicken farms as far as I normally go. Ha! Ah, here they go. Ooh, no, not the water. I take all my torches out. Drown my chickens. <laughs> oh, if you're wondering why it looks so derpy with the fence underneath the stone, um, apparently the animals will breed right into the corner in the middle of the stone block and then can't get out and they'll suffocate and die. So I was not getting any more cows or um, chickens. They would just instantly die. Let's check my jetpack. Good on my jetpack. Man, guys, why don't you do the rest of these things? At least they weren't cicadas. Uh, one of the other guys on the server, uh, he logged in, he's like, what is this noise? And I ended up going over and helping him, and someone put a cicada on the outside of his house. Well, I don't think it'd be that way. It's not lit up. Twenty of them, huh? See, that means we could do a nice uh, 4x5 or 5x4 monitor out of these things. Um, turn this thing into a GIF for sure and uh, use that for control of the XP farm maybe. I haven't explored all these caves down here very much. Uh, been so busy building power setup and uh, distribution of the power that sorting system I, I you know it's very very crude I'll admit I, I'm gonna improve that you know quarry output processing system uh, quite a bit I don't like the way it's working right now but it's functional and that was what I was trying to get to is just have a quick functional setup so that you know I can start getting resources so that I can build a better one um, I was constantly running low on uh, iron before and it just got old quick okay guys where else did you put these things this is turning into a true treasure hunt I'm not seeing any of them you're probably laughing at me as you're watching it maybe up on the hill it should stand out being gold Did you bury him underground or something? Well, that's taking its time to load. And I have no door. <laughs> Angry zombies must have taken care of that. Okay, well, I'll probably cut this part while I'm just going to fly around and look for these things. Um, and I'll bring you back, I guess, as I find more of them. Oh, 
Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, this is how I uh, got the pigment farm. Uh, just stood here on this little platform because it's close enough that the spawner activates. Um, let them pile up down there, and then I just went down there with my vile sword. I think it was four level four at the time. Um, was so soul stealer four, I should say. Killed all those guys. Uh, just went to town on it. Just kind of camped the spawner until I had the pigmen spawner, and it was a good idea. I mean, I will never need to go mining for gold <laughs> with thermal expansion needing gold so much. It, it, it's it's a good thing. <laughs> Let's just leave it that. It's a good thing I have it. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna cut. Uh, and search and search and search, I guess. Okay, found another one. That one was hidden. You know, if you're over here, you can't see it. If you're over far, too far that way, you can't see it. Getting tricky. The other ones, I guess, were too easy for me to find. They were probably planted like that so that I would uh, know there was a prank. The other ones, let's go check over there. That looks like it's a hiding spot. Possibly. No. Only need three more monitors. Okay. I was flying around and I thought to myself, I bet they hit him under here. And sure enough, they at least hit one of them down here. Let's see if we got any more. Go up in here. Doesn't look like it. So the guys were that did this were on uh, the other day, and I said, uh, "You do realize this makes you a target now." And they seemed like they were all for that. Uh, Got to come up with something good. I'm sure it'll involve a turtle in some form. Uh, I even said that to them. And they took that as they're going to die to a turtle. Um, I probably won't actually do that. Um, at least that won't be the intent. Like I said before, uh, no griefing involved in pranks. Uh, killing can be considered griefing. <sighs> I've already searched here. Ooh! Nice skeleton. Oh, back this way. Follow the sound of the chickens. Hmm. Well, guys, uh, YouTube, I'm not finding these last two. If I've walked past them and haven't picked them up, Leave me a comment and let me know where these things are. Hopefully in the next part of the video you'll see me catching everything else. I'm going here because I know they did this. So there's the advanced computer. computer. Um, here's the monitor. Let's check see if there's any other ones. Uh, part of the reason I knew that was because they had the uh, Tycraft block. And the hint. Let's go over here and show this off. See if they've done anything to it. This is going to be our new nether hub. Um, just, you know, that thing's kind of a, a weird combination of blocks, so this is a little bit more of a toned down version of it. Uh, you got color coding still so that you can tell which way is which. You know, if you teleport in over there, you can see, hey, I'm on blue, I need to go this way. I don't see any monitors in here. Oh, let's go ahead and buzz out of here. They probably didn't touch it. I don't think anybody's really been over here. Probably afraid to walk across that bridge. I would be too if I didn't have a jetpack. Hmm. To be honest with you, I don't know where else these things would be. Let's go look at the hints again. Dirt block, okay, that was probably the one down in the tree. Cobble, that was probably the one back by the steps back there. That's we found that one, found that one found that one. These probably just came out of the furnace. 
Unless it's underneath the thing. Underneath that chest. The ceiling here. Nope, that's the gate still. Well, I have two more to find, guys. Um, I'm just going to do this off camera. Um, as I find them, I'll bring you guys back. Oh, wow. I must be totally blind. I didn't even see this one here. Um, I came back up to charge my jetpack and walked over here to check my chest and stuff. <laughs> it's just sitting right there. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so I still got one more to find. I'll be back. Hey guys, um, as you can see, uh, this was my original sword, I think, that I got in Soul Stealer on. Um, people have been adding different uh, Soul Stealer swords and Vile swords in here. So we have quite a collection. Um, I see there's another Soul Stealer 3 book here. That might be good to apply to like this Soul Stealer 3 here and get like a Soul Stealer 4 out of it. Um, although I do see this one does have Disjunction 3, which is great for Enderman. Um, and so does this one. Uh, the the drawback on this one though is that it has fire aspect too. If you hit an enderman with a fire aspect sword, they will teleport all over the place, and you will not be able to kill them. Um, at least not very easily. So uh, that would not make a very good enderman sword, even though it does have disjunction on it. Um, I am about to give up on looking for this third uh, or this uh, 20th. Uh, maybe the Nether portal. Uh, this 20th. Uh, monitor I just can't seem to find the thing let's take a look at the nether portal I doubt they put it out here ah there must be an, uh, a node out there or a node nope hmm I suppose it's been long enough for the guys that did it they might not even remember I have to ask them next time they're on um, let's go down here I guess this is one thing I haven't done yet. I just kind of show off. You know, this view is the reason I originally created my uh, uh, base where it is. Um, I just like the look of the way the mountain, you know, curved both sides over here, and then you know, just had that strip of uh, stone in it, and that area in there. It just looked like a, a nice place to call home. I know the, the view going this way isn't necessarily the best, but I mean it gives you a, a good view of the sunset. But other than that, uh, you know, looking at the wasteland is not necessarily the best. I thought uh, when we first got on the server, one of the, uh, the other guys I was talking with, uh, you know, we were saying, is there anything we can do about this being a wasteland? I, I've given thought to trying to terraform it. There's a, a terraformer uh, machine. So that might be a possibility, but I don't know if it truly changes the biome ID and all that. Because if it doesn't, there's a good possibility that um, if grass and trees and things like that were to grow down there, that they would just kind of be all brown and ugly looking anyway. So if that's the case, it's probably not worth using the terraformer. Um, but if it does change the biome, you know, if you can make that like a, a meadows or something. Oh, nice. He's got a windmill up on his house. I didn't see that before. That's cool. Um, but yeah, if you can change that into a meadow, that'd look really nice. Um, but anyway, um, this episode is probably getting close to wrapping up. Let me check. Uh, yes, it is close to wrapping up. Um, I see that we've got, uh, you know, I've got about 33 minutes already recorded, depending how much I edit out. This might end up being quite a long video. Uh, let me just see if I can break this down real quick. Um, as you can see, back here in the setup, this is above the uh, pigment spawner. All the drops come up here. Um, they're routed this way. The gold nuggets go here. Any non-broken or non-damaged swords deposit here. And then the uh, rotten flesh goes here. That leaves you with uh, any overflow, obviously, and then the, the damaged swords go in here. Um, as you can see, some of the guys have been depositing other things in here some reason. Um, hopefully this thing doesn't fill up and overflow. That causes problems. Um, but behind this I have an automatic crafting table that takes two damaged swords and turns it into a repaired sword. Um, and then that redstone engine there uh, pumps it out and uh, sends it into a, a build craft pipe. Uh, that build craft pipe then deposits back in over to this chest. And as you can see we've filled up on uh, repaired swords. 
That's how I must have stuck that one in there. Um, and when this thing's full, uh, this gate turns on and deactivates the spawner down there. Uh, the reason behind that is I didn't want uh, this setup here just dropping out like crazy and, and you know overflowing this chest and all that type of stuff. So or just leaving the drops down below. So it's an automatic shutoff for it. Um, again. I think I said it earlier in the video that uh, the blaze spawner that's over here, I will probably set up some type of AND gate um, on it so that both lines have to be active to turn it off. I'll do the same thing for the pigment spawner and then put either a computer or a series of levers down in the enchanting station down there so that you can override the behavior of the gates on both of these spawners so that you can turn them on. You can hear him down there. Um, this is just far enough up where you can just barely hear him. You get up to about this height, you can't at all. So I like that because you know, up there, I'll, I'll be up there all the time. I won't be in this part of the world very much. Um, but anyway, you know, I'll have automatic shutoffs. Right now, I just go down there and break the redstone if I want to turn them back on. And then replace it when I'm done. Um, but uh, this is uh, going to have to be the wrapping up point for this video. Unfortunately, uh, I did not find that 20th monitor. Um, if I find it in the next couple minutes here, I'll come back, but I don't think that I'm going to. I don't know where else to look. Um, perhaps they buried it underground somewhere, like I was saying. There isn't a dirt block in here, is there? There is, but I imagine that's the tree down there that they took it from. Well, anyway, I do have to wrap this episode up, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and maybe next episode we'll start out with me finding <laughs> the last block, I guess. Um, this is Tech Stack, signing off. Have a good day. Bye now.